that he's making that noise. I don't know why. Maybe it's like the noise of the mating. Oops, sorry. It's so cute. Good morning, everybody. As you can tell, it is a cloudy, covery day. Last night was a huge storm. Our electricity went off. Um, all my plants survived. <laughs> Pretty much everything else I think was okay, but it was just kind of like this flash of storm. Um, yeah, so that happens. <laughs> um, I am on my way to Fry's to pick up some groceries really quickly. I need to go grab them really quickly, and I'm just very excited that the weather is like this. Like, I, if it was like this a lot, I would do really well. I mean, I do need the sunshine for sure, but if it was the cool, weathery part, that would be bliss. Oh, man. So, life. Yeah. <laughs> Took Smokey out already, so he's already taken care of. Um, and it was so weird because we usually go down an alley that I've gone down a lot. We've lived here five years, I think. I want to say, yeah, like five, maybe six years. And we go down this alley all the time. There are dogs in one of the yards, but I don't really worry about it because there's a big, huge fence and you can't really see them. But this morning I heard somebody running and they unlocked their back gate. And then it freaked me out because I thought, oh my gosh, those dogs are going to get out. And I just really hope they don't attack me and Smokey. Um, I've never walked the entire alley, and so I was not really prepared for that kind of thing because, I don't know, I just, I don't want to get me or Smokey cornered. So we ended up turning around and going right back past that opened gate, and I was just like praying that this these dogs would not rush me or rush out so it didn't happen which is really weird um I mean I'm glad but at the same time I'm like where are those dogs and why is this gate open so I don't know what the issue was hopefully everything's fine I do watch a lot of murder mysteries <laughs> just like please don't let it be something kooky so anyhow um yeah, that was my excitement for the morning, and uh, I think today I'm going to dye my hair. It's time. It's time for that. We are on our way to breakfast with Linda. Um, also, I just got a new phone, and this is it. Um, <laughs> it is the same phone I had, just new because my other phone decided that it wasn't going to um, allow me to live stream the way that I normally do. And so I figured I'd call them and then like months later, I finally had a minute to call, which took an hour and a half um, because apparently they can basically log into your phone and then diagnose it. And uh, I don't know if I feel comfortable with that or not, but I have nothing to hide, so it's not like a big deal, I guess. Um, so <laughs> they uh, went in and they were like, oh, we think it's actually the phone. It's not you or the service or, you know, internet disconnection things. So that's cool, you know, I mean, whatever. So now I have a new phone and... Um, I didn't have to pay for it, but I do have to drop off the old phone at um, UPS. And it's weird because right now this seems so clear to me, but it's also because this phone doesn't have a screen protector on, and so that's a little bit worrisome to me. Because, um, you know, <laughs> it's going to be my luck I dropped my phone. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, the uh, other phone has to go back, so I don't want to be charged for it. And uh, we'll just see how this one works. I'm hoping that it'll be just fine. Um, it was really fast to get it to um, 
transfer everything over, which is cool. I feel like my last phone before my last phone transferring all that information was really long and tedious and I had to do it almost all day um, but it could have been that that phone was just a little bit old <laughs> so anyways um, yeah that's about it I mean nothing really big and exciting that I can think of off the top of my head right now um, today is a warm day you can tell that but tomorrow is supposed to be a rainy day so that'll be cool um, last night when we got home from the gym we actually ran to the uh, apartment because we heard the, the rain hitting the, um, the what's it called like the overhang and it was so loud and obnoxious and I was like oh my gosh it's raining and so then Donnie and I started walking pretty fast and then by the time we got around the corner it was like oh my gosh we are drenched so well that was quick and easy sometimes I have to wait a little while to get you know because you have to get in line and stuff but there's nobody in line today so we're just gonna mosey on ourselves over to the bank and then from the bank we'll finally go see Glenda um, I didn't go to the gym today just because I want to try to take it like every other day because otherwise I feel like I'm, um, I, I just don't want to burn myself out <laughs> and I don't want to become too exhausted. Um, I did do, I, did, I thought this was funny though, um, I did this machine, like I'm, I'm always a good walker so like uh, treadmills and ellipticals things like that, like cardio has always kind of been my thing plus I've always been pretty good with cardio in general. I don't like running but I will <laughs> and so um, basically I go there and I go on the treadmill for a little bit and then I go on to other things but then um, one of the machines I decided to do was this one where you use your arms and you have to like um, push away at at uh, a lifting the weights kind of thing. And, um, whoever did it before me is strong. And I am so not strong on my upper body. And so my weight was like 10 pounds. And I just thought that was so funny because I'm like, oh my gosh, whoever was there before was like 80 pounds. But you know, I mean, there's guys there. So of course they're going to be stronger. And anybody I think in the world is stronger than me. Um, so I just thought that was funny how uh, that was like 10 pounds, but my legs pressure, if I'm pushing both my legs at the same time, it's like over a hundred at least. Um, so I just think that's such a difference in my upper and lower body strength. <laughs> However, I'm not going to really dwell on it too much because everybody has to start somewhere and you know, at least I'm going, right? So today is Tuesday, and that usually means that I take Smokey out for his really long walk later on tonight. And um, so I'm not really concerned with, I mean, I, I do want to go to the gym, but I'm also trying to ease my way into it because I just, my body just hates me too much if I push and push and push. And then what happens is I feel like I have to have days to recover instead of maybe just taking a light day and then going back and then a light day and then going back. Um, something like that I think is a better situation for me in general. Um, so that's my plan. I know that I'm really hungry though. And yesterday I got really hungry fast. I mean, I was like hungry at about eight o'clock in the morning after we <laughs> And I was just famished, like that kind of hunger that just gnaws at your body, um, which oh, I, I can actually push through that. It's not really too big of an issue for me. It's when I start to feel nauseous or sick, you know, like that's a different type of hunger. Um, and usually I can feel that way too if I've had my dextrose in for too long. So I don't know if that what that means like I, I'm not sure if that's like my pancreas like over sugar I guess I don't know I don't really know what the pancreas does <laughs> but all in all like I still have the carbs or the calories because of um, the dextrose in me all day so regardless of whether I'm eating 
that there's that, but then also working out, um, is helping my body be more stimulated to burning off calorie. So I'm not sure how that works out or, or why all of a sudden I'm like super starving to death at eight o'clock in the morning. But again, I don't want to overeat just because I'm super, super hungry because I'm not ready to eat. Like that's not my time to eat. So I'm really trying to stay very um, thoughtful in when I'm eating and so forth because I just don't want to overeat just because I'm hungry. <laughs>